Hey, how's it going everyone? Kane on Stay here, and welcome back to another Loot Crate unboxing. Uh, very late, unfortunately. This is uh, December, and the theme is Galaxy. And I got it yesterday, but it was it was about 5.30, and I just wasn't into uh, mood for recording that uh, yesterday. But I'm going to do it today, and hopefully I'll get it up uploaded today, or probably tomorrow. So, but... The reason it's so late, you know, it's Christmas and it was New Year's, so the days that we're getting parcels, it was all public holidays and stuff, so. This one is excuse for being late, just for that. Alright. So, what are we going to get? Hopefully something Star Wars related, if it's Galaxy. And, still haven't found my sword. I dug my room out completely yesterday and I still haven't found it. I don't want to buy another one, I'm a little bit attached to that one now. So many unboxings, so many uh, fake incident unboxings. we got history together. Oh, what the hell was that? Alright, we got another shirt. Whack that out. Jesus Christ, this thing's huge. UNSC United Nations Space Command Live Ammunition. Alright, we'll put that aside. And we got a game item download from Xbox Store. Supply Rec Pack. I don't know what that is. It's for Halo 5. And the thing is, I don't think I'm going to be getting an Xbox, Xbox One anytime soon. I'm happy with my PlayStation 4. And there's a little thing. Where is everything? It must be in that uh, the weapon case. All right, let's have a look at the shirt first. It is. I have no idea. I'm not going to pretend I know it. it. Looks like just Galaxy. I think it was an NES game, Galaxy or something. Oh, it's snowing. <laughs> it's for Christmas. I wish I knew what it was. Alright, let's open up this bad boy. It's quite a nice tin, actually. Oh, it opens up just like... Ah, everything's in here, are right, eh? <gasps> oh, check that out. We got a Han Solo vinyl figure, the snow gear. No way in hell am I getting rid of this. Loot Crate exclusive. Absolutely loved Star Wars. I've just seen it for the second time the other day. I can't get enough of it. I just love it so much. Actually... Guess what I'll just, hang on, we'll do it, I'll show you after. I actually just got it today. Oh, BB-8 socks, I might even wear them. BB-8's awesome. Galaxy Quest? A patch. Oh, who remembers Galaxy Quest? I actually rather enjoyed that movie. It was awesome. And Galaxy Pin for De December 2015. I'm wondering if I should change my upload crate. I'll, you know, do something different. Because I've done a year of it. I'm thinking with my arcade block. I might go for the horror one for the year. Alright, so we've got a nice, pretty cool tin. Uh, let's have a look at the little catalogue thing. I call it a catalogue. I don't know why. It's just force of habit. I'm really happy with this one. That's awesome. Loot anime, I, I'm not even, I'm not going to do another one of those, I just, I wasn't into it. It's nice how you can, um, buy past crates, that's nice of them to do. Uh, where is everything? Come on. Right. Exclusive ugly holiday sweater t-shirt. It's just NASA. Christmassy. Exclusive Star Wars Han Solo vinyl bobblehead. That is awesome. No way I'm getting rid of that. The BB uh, exclusive Galaxy Quest, I think a prop rep for patch. Is that the same Galaxy Quest I'm talking about? With a uh, Tim Allen? Ah. Uh. I'm sure it is, yeah. Exclusive Halo 5 Ma ammo tin box and Halo Guardians. Allows you to buy trading cards. 
Yeah, I'm into trading cards, but I'm not going to buy an Xbox One just for that. Alrighty, and that is that for that loot crate. And I'm actually quite happy with the stuff. Uh, I'm not so much happy about the Halo stuff. I mean, yeah, I'd rather have got more Star Wars. But I'm happy. We've got some BB-8 socks. We've got the Han Solo uh, vinyl figure. That's awesome. These uh, figurines are so sought after, especially in my comic shop. He, I think he does loot crate, but he wants the vinyl figures because people are so wanting to kill each other for him. So that's why he gets. He says if we ever have any, he's more than happy to take them. But I'm not going to get rid of that one. And I just want to show you what I bought, just bought, and it just arrived today. I had to do it. I'd seen on eBay the gold Galaxy Premiere gold ticket for Star Wars The Force Awakens. I just had to get one just for the movie. It is number 27,948 at 30, there was 30,000 made, so I'm 27,000, <laughs> close to 28,000, but I'm happy just to have had one. Uh, it's in a nice cool sort of like glass casing to protect it. And yeah, once I'd seen it, I thought, why didn't we get one? Like, in Australia, so I thought, uh, apparently they were going for around 10, 20 bucks, but people were selling off for 100, and I thought, I don't care, I want one. So that's why I bought one. And if anyone asks a question why I enjoyed Star Wars so much, because there's a lot of, uh, there's the good stuff, and then there's also the people that are saying, you know, oh, it's a knockoff of um, A New Hope, oh, it's crap, it just wasn't good. I don't know which movie they saw because I watched it and just couldn't get enough of it. We saw it again and it was just as good as the first time and we're thinking of seeing it for a third time. It just... I just don't know why people hate it so much. And they're then insulting Carrie Fisher's age. I'm thinking, you know, that's what happens when you grow old while you're making fun of her. And the actor who played Kylo Ren, I don't know his actual name. I never actually really pay attention. I thought he was a great character, and people are saying, oh, what an ugly mug he is. You know, I'm just tired of, you know, having, you got to have the Hollywood, you know, hot blonde, hot hunk. I'm thinking, you know, why can't we just have average looking people for once? And that's my opinion, and I thought the movie was great, and I might even see it again. And plus, if people hate it, then they're not going to see it more room for me. Ha! <laughs> So, that's my opinion on Star Wars Force Awakens. I might even do a vlog, another vlog video talking about my my opinion and what I expect for the uh, the next episode. If Rey doesn't have a lightsaber staff, I'm going to be so disappointed. I mean, she rocks with that staff that she had when the two, uh, I want to call them goons, were trying to take BB-8 and she just absolutely whipped their asses. So if she doesn't have one of those, I'm going to be so peeved. And I want to see more of Poe and Captain Phasma because... I thought they didn't get much of a screen time, and when they did, it was like, yay, and then all of a sudden, ah. Oh. But anyway, enough rambling on. This is Loot Crate. I don't want to keep you holding up. Uh, good Loot Crate. Uh, I might go for another year, see how we go. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all later.